America for the entire tour leading up to the end of the year. Try your best to make it out there and try Tekken 7. That's all I can say. Just go out, try to enjoy the game, have fun. The console version is going to be out before you know it. The console version is going to be out before you know it. The console version is going to be out before you know it. Let's get it. Well, what is going on guys up here? The Tekken 7 console release date has been something that has eluded us for some time now. There was a belief that back in March of 2015, it was coming to console, only to disappoint the world with the fact that it was only an arcade release. But not only that, it was only released in Japan. With as much as we've been talking about it, which seems like forever now, you would think we would have the game in our hands already. And the fact is we do. Tekken 7 is now making its way all over the US in location tests and special events in the form of a tour. Hashtag Tekken Tour. Such locations include Illinois, Florida, Ohio, Texas, California, as well as others. This is an amazing feat for Tekken because not only will guys like me making videos be able to introduce Tekken to new players, but Tekken is using the support of dedicated fans like me and like you to fund their own way of achieving this. But what does this mean in terms of a console release date? The clip you saw earlier was of Tekken Project game designer Michael Murray saying that the console version of Tekken 7 will be out before we know it at final round. Now, given this was the exact same night that some guy on the stream came on and said, yeah, there's gonna be huge news in a little bit. Well, first of all, it wasn't a little bit. It was a damn hour. Secondly, there was no big news. The news was that there was no big news. Also, Tekken's going on tour. The end. So f*** that guy. Anyway, back to my main point. Tekken will be out before you know it doesn't seem like an afterthought. Now, I don't want to overthink it, but for the sake of this video, yes I do. Out before you know it. That sounds like it's going to be fairly close then. But from the perspective of a guy actually working on the game, before you know it might be a little more time than a fan expects. Okay, note here, you know how when you were little and you wanted your parents to take you to... I don't know, Discovery Zone or something, and you ask them, when are they gonna take you? When are you gonna take me? When are you gonna take me? They, they'd always say, soon, my son or daughter. I, I assume your parents talk like that. And then you realize soon is a very broad term. It can mean this week, next week, week after next, next month, month after next, whatever. Because from the perspective of your parents, working their ass off to keep your ass alive, playing with your tennis ball and stuff, that time just flies on by. And that's exactly what this feels like to me, son. Just, just thought I'd put that out there. Now, time to overthink because I'm a huge nerd. When Tekken Tag Tournament 2 released in arcades, it was September 2011. Six months later, in March of 2012, it got the unlimited update, similar to the Faded Retribution update we're at right now at the time of this video. Then, six months from that, it was released on consoles on September 11th, 2012. I specifically remember that date because it was ironic. 9-11 should be the day where you said Tekken was released in America on home consoles, and I went to the store, and I got my pre-order, and my friend Dale, his ass was teasing me because I had to go to school and stuff. He was like, yo, this, they got this new thing in the game. And it was doing stuff. And they, and they, and, and, and it, it was, they was doing something else. And I was just like, F you. Now let's look at Tekken 7's arcade release date, which was a little weird. It had a limited release in February of 2015 and then had an unfinished release a month later in March. Then the Faded Retribution update released December of 2015, which is nine months later. Now, in my overthinking mind, I totally wanted to make a connection where there was none to be found. And since we ain't got no release date, I'ma make a theory about a release date. There have been rumors that Tekken 7 might be coming to console before EVO. And I'm gonna tell you where those rumors started. It was when EVO was announcing their list of games back in January that were planned for EVO 2016, when suddenly, Markman, in this super amazing, totally unscripted entrance, crashed the party like a wrecking ball. We would like to take questions, uh, so if you guys do have questions, don't forget to tweet using hashtag EVO2016 or leave a question in the chat. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, <laughs> I don't want to shake his hand. What the hell are you doing here, dude? I'm not shaking his hand. Well, I, I guess it wasn't that exciting. It was more equivalent to that of an old man pushing a hoop with a stick down a dirt road. Then, this exchange of words happened. Double or nothing. Let's go. <laughs> One more time. For, if I win, second seven, Faded Retribution at EVO. Faded Retribution. <laughs> This game's not even, like, gonna be out on console. It will be. We'll make it happen. Oh Parada, please. <laughs> it will be. We'll make it happen. 
Harada, please. If Harada does in fact make this happen, EVO might actually be the release date, as July is when EVO takes place, which will be seven months from the Faded Retribution update, which is not six, but it's almost six, but that still may very well be it. And if not, I think by then we'll at least deserve a release date announcement, which may end up being nine months from the last major update and release in September, which can coincide with previous Tekken releases. Which is interesting because September is the only time on the Tekken Tour calendar which is to be announced. Hmm, I wonder why. I think if you're a game designer and you literally work on one thing all year, I say time flies by, which is probably the way and perspective Michael Murray meant it. And at best, I think Mark Mann's passive remarks about the console release are really nothing at all. This game's not even, like, gonna be out on console. It will be. We'll make it happen. Oh Harada, please. <laughs> Everything is too vague, so we can do nothing but... Theorize! All jokes and rambling aside, you guys usually want to hear what I have to say, and that really is how I think inside my own head. My videos are just sort of a way to turn my ideas into entertainment. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. Don't forget, you cannot kill an idea, and I'll see you guys next time! Wow!